Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tasso, and today we'll be unboxing a new display. Um, let's get it up on the table. It's a 32 inch LG display that I got on a uh, Black Friday sale. It will be replacing my five year old Dell 27 inch. Um, yeah, I've not had a 4K screen for other than my laptop screen, so we'll unbox it. Uh, but please stay till the end or jump to the end um, for a um, sort of a real stuff up uh, when I first got this uh, uh, set up and uh, had warranty replace it. So um, don't fall for the same mistake. Um, so let's go. Okay, here we go. So let's unbox uh, the screen. Um, it says I shouldn't use a knife, but uh, let me just lift it up. Uh, you know, my biggest problem is I don't follow instructions. So, all right. So here we go. Pretty compact. Um, all the elements are nicely packaged. Uh, so I think it's the arm first. The arm's pretty heavy. Uh, it's quite a solid piece of hardware. It's got the, the Visa arm mount on the on the outside. Um, so let's just um, undo this. Nicely wrapped uh, to protect the surface. Um, okay, so so what we've got is here's the track to put the, uh, all your cables through the cable management, the uh, the mount. For the desk clamp, um, and I and you can move these um, uh, up or down depending on how thick your table is. So we'll have to do that and move the, um, the move it uh, to a smaller setting because uh, we've got a quite a thin table. Um, the visa mount is quite a solid piece, and it, it's really hard to move around. So that all clips in um, nicely. So let's just put this to the side. Uh, in, in the box we also have the adapter, which is a, a fairly large, fairly large brick. So I'll have to hide that away underneath the table. Got the power cable connected. Um, We've got a metal plate here, I'm not too sure what that's used for. Uh, I'll have to have a look at the instructions there. We've got all the cables, so we've got USB-C, we've got the power cable and a HDMI cable. And some instructions, warranty material, paperwork, a sticker, not sure where we could put that sticker, and a DVD or CD. And now the problem with the CD is that if you don't have a screen, how are you going to read that? Um, so let's um, pack these away and um, let's open the screen. So the, the screen is secured here in the base. There's little areas here that lift it out. So with the screen, it's got a matte surface, which helps with um, reflections. So it's just, um, which I'm really happy with. Uh, used to uh, have an iMac in the office and the reflections, I mean, you do get used to them, but like the, like the MacBook Pro, um, you do get used to the reflective surface, but um, yeah, it's a fairly large screen. 
Um, and so what we've got in the back here, we've got the Visa mount, um, we've got the USB-C, HDMI, two USB ports, um, oh, HDMI, um, two HDMI ports, the power. What's that, a uh, different sort of in uh, cable, so I'm not too sure what that is. Um, have to have a look. Uh, all, uh, all right, so I think we're ready to um, to get this up on the desk. Okay, here's a, an easy bit. So all we need to do is disconnect, or oh, unscrew, uh, unscrew the, the plate. And because I have a um, shallow table, I just move it up the next step. Screw it back in. Okay, so there we go. So that's, oops. So now we've got um, a narrower area where we could affix the clamp onto a, a shallower table. Okay, so up here we've got the cap we can just easily clip off and the cover slides out and then you can arrange all the cables uh, through the, the channel here. So let's um, get it up on the, onto the table and and uh, we'll set up um, our screen. So the advice that I would probably give is that if you want the screen to come out this far from the back of the table, it depends on how deep your table is, then place this column in the middle or to the side if you want it to be um, shallower um, or closer to the wall per se. But it doesn't mean that you can um, permanently fix this, you can slide, slide it across and see what your best setup is. Okay, so we'll uh, slide this in. I think I, I will put it in on an angle here um, so that uh, I can first mount the screen and then I can move it into position later. Uh, I just tighten this. So it's quite, quite sturdy. Okay, so it does move around quite freely. So you can see that it does go out quite a bit. Um, I actually want it to be around here. So it's not too far, but uh, let me mount the screen and, um, and we'll, we'll see how that looks. Um, and then arrange the laptop and everything on, on the desk uh, again. So let me just go grab the screen and we'll align the visa mount to the top. Clips in and then it should snap into place. So relatively easy, once you know how, <laughs> and this is the second time we're doing it. Um, so you can see that moving the screen, because it's got a bit of weight on it, um, allows the ball head there to adjust. So we can, um, we can arrange how high we want this. It has uh, a height adjustment here. So, you know, it's fairly strong. So we can pull down on it. So you can have it as low or as high because we can rotate the screen, um, I believe, vertically. Very large iPhone. Don't know how I'd use that. Um, but, um, yeah. So let's uh, hook up all the, the cables, uh, as shown earlier, you just flip that out, slide that uh, cover over. So what I want to do is first make sure I've got this in, in position um, on the desk. So let me just hop around. I think that's a, a really good position right there. So it's not too close at arm's length. 
and uh, we'll, we'll get the cables all attached. So we only really need is the USB-C uh, that will connect to the laptop and power it as well. So it means that our, the MagSafe on the MacBook Pro is not really required unless I want to charge it up fairly quickly. Or I can just pop it in my bag and have it as a, a charger on the go. So I don't really need to buy a second charger. Um, the power cable and attach it to the brick. So let's uh, tie it all together. Okay, so we have, this is an extension cable to the power brick. So it has a, not sure if you can see that clearly, there's a, a nodule right there. Um, that there sits at the top of the channel. So for example, it'll sit at the top of the channel here. So it doesn't actually get pulled down when you're so there's a bit of start slack there. So what we'll do is we'll leave that in there. We also need the USB-C. This also has a, cha uh, a nodule, sort of like a stopper type thing uh, that indicates the, so there's no, I don't think it's in the middle. So uh, I believe it's sort of short end here. Um, that sits up here. Um, so that they don't get pulled in into the channel. So we'll run that through here. Okay. And then we'll get the cover in. Okay. This goes to power, this goes to USB-C. This is the USB-C which goes across to my laptop. And then uh, this goes to power right there. And we'll tidy up all the cables um, a bit later. Let them now so they don't get tangled with our feet. And we'll do some tidying up later. So really these two will fit across there. Let's put the cap back in. There's a fair bit, so just in case I decide to move it forward, I don't pull or damage the back of the screen. I'll show you later what I, what, what I mean. Um, so let's pop the, oh, okay, so let's pop the USB-C in. And then the power cable there. Okay, so we got, Oh, we have some action. So we'll put the table back into place. We'll have a look in the front. All right. Okay, so here we are. Um, new screen on the desk, uh, nice and clean. I'm sure to fill it up there with junk and you know, swatches and all other things that uh, i uh, too lazy to pack up. Um, but I may find another way of organizing some, some often used things. Um, so the screen is uh, beautiful. Uh, it's nice and clean, um, very sharp. Um, so I've just been working around arranging my, uh, my laptop so I, you know, I can move stuff around, keep some, some emails on that side. Um, so you can, you know, uh, essentially move which is your primary screen, um, where your dock wants to sit. Now this is quite a lot of space and I think it needs a bit of scaling. Um, so I think we go into desktop um, display settings, I believe. So it's got, oh, it's got a refresh rate here. Um, I can use HDR, so let's uh, see what that looks like. Um, so if I'm doing a lot of photography, um, maybe that will uh, come into play. So that will be quite interesting to, to have a look. So I'll just change that back um, to the default uh, 60 hertz uh, scaled. Let's have a look scaled. So at, the, at this point, it's quite big. That was the default size of the browser. <laughs> it's massive. Um, so let's just try the next 
So I think um, that's probably a decent uh, size and yeah, there we go. Um, what, um, that there is pretty big too. Um, I'm not sure, I'll have a bit of a play. I mean, that's, that's pretty big. Um, so that's larger text and this is the largest. So um, still quite sharp and really nice uh, sort of anti-aliasing on the, on, the, on the font. So um, yeah, really, really happy with this. So I'll come down to a, um, a scale. So, so that one's 256, two, 2560 by 1440. Um, this one's 3008. That one's 360-1890. I think that's probably the scale I'll end up, but I'll have a bit of a play. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with the with the new display. Um, may last me a few more years. Uh, maybe someday I'll be able to afford an XDR um, screen, but this does the job. Um, we'll gain some experience on you know uh, how the color displays. May even do a video on color calibration. Um, I have a, an old unit um, that uh, takes some readings and we color calibrate the screen, but I'm not sure if it's um, up to date with uh, the latest software, so I may need an update. And I'll do a bit of tests and see how it goes. So, yeah, um, thanks again for watching um, and have a look at the next bit um, on what not to do. Um, like and subscribe as always. Um, help me build the channel um, until next time be well so let's um, let's uh, uh, align this how I want it to sit on my desk uh, we may need to adjust um, may need to adjust uh, the cables so that um, oh so so that uh, oh geez may need to adjust that. Well, looks like I broke it. Putting the cable in before you move the screen pulls the USB-C thing out, uh, the, the connector. So before we even get started, I'm so annoyed. Bloody hell. <laughs>